guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an email that was sent from a subscriber. That's from a guy, sounds like he's in his late 20s. He's been watching the channel for about a year and a half now. And he shares his story from many years ago, how when he was about 19 or 20, he entered into this polyamorous relationship. He describes himself growing up as a nerd and a late bloomer. And so obviously when he was in bad relationships he had once he started somewhat blooming, but he made friends with this couple, and it turns out they were into that lifestyle, and they invited him in. And he got roped into it, and it was just a freaking disaster. And eventually, he ends on a high note after him being taken advantage so much and hurt that he's now doing great. But, he, but I'm sharing this story just once again to remind you how this poly stuff is a bunch of crap and just brings a lot of hurt and turmoil into people's lives. And again, guys, don't get roped into this to jump in with another couple. Or if your girl wants to get in that lifestyle, it is done. And, and you're going to see this story, the absolute mess that it is. He says, hello, SSM. I found your YouTube channel at the beginning of 2023, and I've been hooked ever since. I've learned so much from your videos, and I wish I had this kind of content 10 years ago. Get in line, bro. I wish I had me 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I wasn't where I am today, that's for sure. Had to learn the hard way through a lot of experiences just like you guys. It would have saved me so much pain, but I'm sure many guys are in the same boat. I have a story about how I ended up in a polyamorous relationship. Smack! What? And the disaster that happens when you jump down that rabbit hole. Imagine that. Yes, they all end in disaster. Honestly, you might want to stretch your smacking arm before the story if you decide to cover it. Well, my smacking arm is all warmed up, man. I'm hoping that my story about the absolute wrong things to do might help a guy face with the same choice. I'm sorry for the long story, but I feel context is important. Bro, number one, your story is not super long. Your story is good. Good length. I've covered stories that are 20, 30 pages long. I've broken them up into multiple part stories. All stories are welcome, guys. So I was a late bloomer, and I didn't start dating until I was 19 years old in college and had multiple terrible relationships. Now looking back, I can see that I let people walk on me, and I wasn't good at taking the lead. Eventually, I met Alice and Joe, all named chains for privacy. At this point in my life, I felt like I had to make up for lost time in my teenage years, and I was making crazy choices. I'd always been a bit of a nerdy guy, and I met Joe through playing Dungeons & Dragons. Aha, you're a D&D &D guy. I guarantee you we got a whole bunch of D&D &D players in this audience. And you know what? If you enjoy D&D, &D, bro, and any other guys, own it. Who gives a fuck what anybody else thinks? Uh, one night, as Alice walked by, I made a joke that Joe was a lucky man being married to her. Joe immediately responded that I should ask her out if I thought she was attractive. I mean, like, say that again? This took me by surprise. Joe explained to me that him and, her, and his wife had an arrangement that they could date other people and that she had a crush on me as well. I didn't even know what polyamory was, and they explained it to me. Uh, this is a terrible idea. This is somebody you hang out with, that you're friends with, and you want to jump into bed with his wife and all that. This is a terrible idea. Uh, so I told Joe that I would think about it, but every time I was over there, she would start flirting and dropping hints. Eventually, I gave in and we started dating. Joe and Alice had two kids, one, one boy who was two years old, and one girl who was four. Bro, you should have never have done this, okay? What they do, I mean, at the end of the day, that's their business, but you're just asking for drama and trouble. And I, and I know this now. This is for all you other guys out there. But something tells me this guy here, he obviously was young, didn't have a lot of experience, so any chance of getting some easy pussy, that really was the motivator here. But it really bothers me when you hear these stories of people that have these you know, um, polyamorous relationships, whatever they want to fucking label it, and there's, they have little kids. Because the stories are, you know, like, the kids are probably wondering, where's mommy tonight? Where's daddy tonight? Who's this person coming to the house? Who's that person coming to the house? You get my point? And it's like, you want to do that bullshit, that, that, and, and if you don't have any kids, that's one thing. But when you have kids, that just pisses me off. Anyway. Due to this, Alice and I at first avoided being too affectionate in their home, but eventually all pretenses were dropped and we all started having, living in an open polyamorous lifestyle. In other words, the kids freaking saw it. Dude. Oh yeah, smack. 
Yeah, I'm a little off today. I didn't see a problem with it until they asked me to move in. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. There was no extra room in their house, and they wanted me to move in their room with them. I know many smacks coming. Yeah, smack! You're going to move in with these people and be there and the kids and all that? Come on. We know why you're doing this, because the pussy. That's why. And please tell me that uh, while you're parking her, he isn't there, you know, doing something else. So I lived like this with them for a year. Helping Alice with kids and helping them pay the bills. Aha! Uh -huh. How much of the bills are you helping to pay? I mean, if you're living there, okay, you should contribute as much as this is a complete effed up situation. But how much of the bills are you paying? Joe would stay at home with the kids while Alice and I worked. and He was going to online college through, through this time. Oh, how interesting. Very interesting. He's going to school now. You're probably paying a big chunk of the bills. Uh, that is when I found out that they were polyamorous with other couples and into swinging. I found this out by Alice telling me that she was off to see her other boyfriend and Joe is going to go see his girlfriend. <laughs> Bro, you got yourself into this mess. This upset me greatly as I thought it was just the three of us and that's naive as it sounds. Yeah, you were naive. Do you think you were enough? There's no way. There's no amount of enough. Now, especially for her. Because I'm convinced in, in all these scenarios where the, the gals whether they're girlfriends or fiancés or wives, bring up or demand open marriages, open relationships. Yes, they enjoy the sausage, or in some case, the fish tacos. But it isn't just about that. It's about the attention and validation they get from the guys or gals. It's about the, the thrill of the chase, the uncertainty, the butterflies, all that bullshit that guys, most guys really don't care about. They just want to get down to business and be done. But women love that shit. You know, it's ridiculous, especially the attention validation. So no amount is ever going to be enough for her, ever. And again, while he's going out with his girlfriends and she's going out with her boyfriends, who's with the kids? These poor kids. Let me guess, you. Anyway... Although I was very close to leaving at that point, Alice love bombed me into staying. Smack! Jackass. Eventually, uh, Alice started paying more attention to me than Joe, and this got under his skin. One day while Alice and I were at work, their uh, three-year-old son bit Joe, and he responded by pinning the boy down and beating him. Uh, as if child protective services should have been called already, now definitely. Joe called Alice and told her that he really screwed up so she left work and rushed her son to the hospital and called the police. Joe's in deep shit. Kid bites you. Obviously, you correct the kid, but there's a difference between pinning them down and, you know. Alice ended up leaving Joe, kicking him out and telling him that she wanted a divorce. I supported Alice the best I could and helped her more with the kids and finances, though we ended up having to move. You were paying for her and the kids and all that. Smack again. How old were you? Eventually, we end up moving in with her, her best friend, Tiff, and her husband, Bob. Oh, I wonder what's going on with Tiff and Bob. Tiff and Alice have been best friends since middle school. Although Alice said she wanted a divorce from Joe while I was with her, she never, never went to an attorney or saw actual separation. How interesting. Alice and I decided to try monogamy and have what would be considered a normal relationship, but she felt unfulfilled and missed having multiple partners as well as swinging. You actually, you actually thought that she would be able to stay just with you? There is no way in hell. She and it isn't just about like, the swinging and the and the sausage. Again, it's all about the uncertainty and the butterflies and can't wait to see what happens next and trying to figure out the guy and the attention and validation and all that crap. I'm convinced that's probably 80% of it. So I tried to get into the lifestyle with her, but whenever I would try and date someone else, Alice would bring up that I should be helping more with the kids or she feels I'm moving too fast. Uh, you actually bought that? Smack! Come on, dude. Hey, if you're together... It's supposed to be together, and she's out getting uh, sausage from Chad and Tyrone and Chad and Tyrone's friends. Then you can be feel free to get all the fish you want from Tiff and Jessica and Melissa, whoever. She had multiple men she would go out with, and far as swinging went, their partners, although 
She had multiple men that she would go out with. And as far as swinging went, their partners, although they said they had an interest in me, wanted to take things slow. More than once, I sat out in the living room with the wife of some guy maybe getting to second base while she's in the bedroom with him having a wild time. <laughs> uh, newsflash, in case you haven't noticed, it's a lot easier for women to get partners than men because pretty much most guys will fuck anything. I mean, let's be honest here, you know, as long as she's, you know, under a certain weight and has bathed and, and has, you know, cleaned herself up a bit. And usually, as long as the guy's friends don't find out, most guys will fuck anything, and we all know it. But for guys, it's a, it's a lot more work. During this time, my self-confidence and self-esteem were in an all-time low. I put on more weight, and I've always been heavy, but during this time, I cracked up to 380 pounds, which is the heaviest I ever was, and entered into a serious depression. 380 pounds, unless you're 8 feet tall, that means you were a big boy. God damn, I mean, how big were you before? And I might add, no offense, but the bigger you were, the harder to be to attract women to want to get down and dirty with you. I mean, there are some women that like very big dudes, but, you know. I thought Alice was my world. Smack! Oh, for God's sakes. And I was definitely putting her on a pedestal. Alice and her best friend Tiff really enjoyed smoking weed and would often lead me to take care of both their kids while they sat in the garage smoking for hours at a time, sometimes the whole day. You actually did that? Smack! You probably thought, if I was just such a nice guy to Alice and showed her how good I am with her and loving and taking care of the kids, then, then she'll love me more. And Bullshit. You're, you're right. I did need to warm up my smacking arm today. What a shitty fucking mother. And and Joe the father. These kids should not they should not be raising children. Uh, because of gaslighting and love bombing, I felt like this is the best I could do. Right there. That's what happens to so many guys. They think they're such shit that they'll take anything. This is the best it's ever gonna be. No, that's not true at all. But just the problem was that you said you were a late bloomer, and even when you bloom late, still you were very inexperienced and you said you're greatly overweight, I guarantee you that if you, instead of being 380 pounds, you were 180 pounds and had some self-respect, your entire situation would be night and day different. And she knew that. She knew it would be difficult for you to get chicks. And she knew darn well your confidence was very low, if not not having any at all. Again, this is why I work so hard to help guys better themselves, improve themselves, help their confidence improve by the self-improvement, and then people won't take advantage of them. That's why I do that. Uh, Alice even moved one guy into her place without talking to me. That's because Alice runs the show, that's why. I told her that I did not like this guy, and it would be a hard line if she starts sleeping with him, and that I didn't want him driving any of my vehicles. Although she said she didn't sleep with him. I'm sure she did, and she posted multiple photos on social media of him driving with her in one of my many cars. Smack! Um, how is he driving your cars if you have the keys? Oh, I guess you gave her the keys. Trying to be a policer. So during this time, Tiff was like a, a, a fight friend anytime me and Alice would disagree. Tiff would uh, get involved, and during this whole time, Tiff was cheating on her husband, Bob she on her husband, Bob, and took Alice to multiple fetish events behind my back. She eventually left Bob and started dating another man while we were all living together still. So Bob was her husband, and she was cheating on him and going to fetish events and taking Alice there. Bro, how much suffering do you have to endure till you finally wake up to reality? It's amazing to me how much suffering guys do. But again, he said he thought this is as good as it's going to get. Eventually, I picked up a hobby of medieval combat sports and was losing weight as well as going to the gym twice a week. Medieval combat sports, that sounds awesome. I had a festival event coming up and I brought, brought up to Alice the possibility of meeting someone there because we were supposedly polyamorous. She told me, fine, do whatever you want. That means, that's, that's a woman's way of saying, don't do whatever you want. While at this event, I got a phone call from her, and she essentially broke up with me, telling me that we had to talk when I get back. I'd be like, so? I hadn't originally planned on pursuing anyone at this event, but a nice-looking tavern girl struck up a conversation with me, and one thing led to another. Good. Good, bro. And guess what? You got options. 
you were doing something you enjoyed. The medieval combat stuff, which sounds quite badass, I might add. I mean, is it like kind of like a Renaissance fair? Wasn't there a movie called role models you ever see that with sean william scott and paul rudd where they had they got in trouble and they had to mentor these kids and the one kid was all into like this role-playing thing at this fantasy medieval type of thing where they get into bat they had their own kingdoms and they get into battles and it was like a medieval thing i'm sure a lot of you guys saw it. it's a really funny fucking movie i'm picturing that they called it lair or something that sounds cool, but anyhow, you're there doing something you enjoy, and doing something you enjoy, you're happy, and therefore you're feeling good. You met this tavern girl, if you will. That was her role. And uh, you're there you go. See what happened? When you're happy and doing things you enjoy, but a lot of these harpy gals try to keep guys from doing things they enjoy to make them unhappy and control them. Well, good for you. I'm proud of you. When I got back, I immediately told Alice and was very clear that I was safe. She told me that she felt like I had cheated on her and she would, would do her best to forgive me as she wanted to work on our relationship. What a steaming pile of crap. She didn't want to work on shit. For, for once, she actually was threatened by you having somebody else and look what happens. She is a fucking liar and a manipulator and gaslighter all that. So over the next few months, she went out with different men and continued her ways and I, even, and I tried even harder with the kids and to be there and present and do things she was asking asking of me. Smack! In other words, you're being that nice guy. The nice guy pleaser. Whatever happened to the tavern girl? I want to bet you had postponed your combat things, medieval combat thing, to make her happy. How'd that work out for you? Eventually, she sat me down and told me that she loved me, but she was no longer in love with me and something just broke in me. Dude, newsflash, she never was in love with you. I got up, took the few belongings I absolutely needed, and moved in with a friend that I've only talked to, talked to her twice since then, and only trying to get my, my stuff back. After she broke up with me, she told me that she didn't want a man popping in and out of her kids' lives and not to contact them. You know, the sad thing is, this guy probably developed a bond with the kids, and the kids a bond with him, and just like that, whoosh, he's gone. I mean, she is such a selfish, evil person. God. Bro, this was a blessing, believe me. Our total relationship lasted six years. These kids were calling me dad and it was the most painful thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, I'm willing to bet you it wasn't because of her, really. It was because of all the time you invested in her and the relationship with the kids. I mean, fuck, I'd be on the phone child protective service about this bitch and her husband and this whole th situation. There's no way they would be pleased with this situation. To my shame, I never stood up for myself, nor did I ever see the manipulation. Polyamory just, just doesn't work. There's always someone getting shafted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was her. It was Alice. Since then, I've gotten a much better job, and I'm on my grind. I've lost almost 100 pounds. I'm back down to 285, and I'm still losing. I do medieval combat, and I'm in the gym as often as I can be. Wonderful. Bro, 100 pounds. That, that is no small thing. You are working your tail off. But remember, the gym will only go so far. It's obviously diet and eating properly and all that. Uh, I ended up going to therapy and through a free program with my work, and my therapist brought up channels like yours. Your therapist brought up my channel? Awesome. Shout out to the therapist. I'm not sure if this belongs on the SSM or the They Did What channel, but I hope you at least enjoyed the story. I'd love to hear your insight. Oh, you heard it. I'm still growing, and I and I absolutely do not put up crap with anyone, nor will I mess around with non-monogamy. I thought my story might be a good insight into the dark side of what it's like. Thank you, and please look, keep up the good work. You've helped me, and I'm sure so many men out there. Well, bro, I'm really proud of you. I, you yeah, you fucked up a lot, but in fairness, you were very inexperienced, very young. You thought, like, you didn't think you are worth anything, therefore you put up with anything that we put on your plate. She knew this as many of these types do, and took full advantage of it, you know? But I guarantee you, guarantee you that in time, she will get hers. I'm convinced sooner or later, things are going to get out, and the freaking Child Protective Service is coming for those kids. I mean, she's awful mother in person, and so is Joe, I might add, her husband or whatever the hell he is in the, in the situation. But, bro, good for you. Keep doing what makes you happy. The combat stuff, hitting the gym, getting yourself back into good shape, you know, and, and not putting up with crap. You got to have self-respect and not put anybody else ahead of you. I'm all for being friendly and, and good-mannered and, and outgoing and nice to people. 
But there's a difference between doing that and being a doormat and a pushover, me taking advantage of because nobody respects a pushover. And I'm sure you, you learned a lot by learning the hard way. So if all that completely changed you as a man, then as difficult as it was and painful, it was worth it, you know? And now you're sharing your story here and I promise you, you're helping someone out there. Someone will watch this that's maybe in a bad situation right now and hearing your story will motivate them to get out of a bad situation, lose some weight, whatever. And that's why I do this and I always enjoy covering these types of stories. So good for you, brother. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let this guy know what you think. Give him a shout out for ending this on a high note. I know you want to smack the shit out of him many times in the video. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.